Why do we light a fire during Avdala? So Avdala is a very interesting uh, step. If you look at the Midrash Mi'am Loez, he says we do several things that are interesting. When it comes to the fire, not only we do light the fire, but we also look at, take our fingernails, take our fingernails and put them against the fire to see how the light reflects on the fingernails. So the fire is to separate the holiness from the mundane. One thing that we're not allowed to do on a holy day, on Shabbat, on Yom Kippur, is to light fire. We're not allowed to light fire, we're not allowed to create. So this is something that we're not allowed to do. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, so in order to have a sign that we're going back into the mundane, light a fire. So a bigger question would be, okay, the fire I get. Why? Like Hashem says, light a fire, you're separating the holy back to the mundane, no problem. But what's, what's with the fingernails? What is the finger? Fingernails have, well, same fingernails on Shabbat, the same fingernails on a weekday. So the Midrash Me'am Lo'e says, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, don't just light the fire to symbolize that you're going back into the mundane, into the regular world, but also remind yourself of what happens when you leave the holy. The Gemara says that in Masechet Shabbat, that as soon as Shabbat comes in, if a person prepared themselves the right way, meaning a person keeps Shabbat, a person is someone that honors Shabbat, he gets another neshama. He gets a second neshama, enters into that person. Some of the chachamim, some of the tzaddikim that knew how to honor Shabbat literally, literally felt something. Like for example, there's a story from about 40 years ago of one of the G'dolei Ado was in the hospital, literally on his deathbed. Had wires coming in and out of him everywhere. But he was known that every time Shabbat came in, he would dance and go and jump. But now he's old and he's in his deathbed. So everyone, you know, is sad and sitting next to him. The minute that Shabbat came in, all of us tell me that saw it. All of a sudden, they literally saw him get up like a 20-year-old, take out all the wires out of his body and start dancing in the hospital. As soon as Shabbat was over, went back to the deathbed and he died. Mamash, the extra neshama, he felt it. He felt it. al violinu, to feel it too. So that neshama enters, that second neshama enters. That neshama should give you a special feeling of holiness, a special feeling of kedusha, closeness to Hashem, especially if you're learning Torah on Shabbat, which gets a reward that's a thousand times more significant than learning Torah during the rest of the week. Now, at the end of Shabbat, when you do Avdalah, that neshama leaves. And part of the reason of why we smell the incense is because the neshama that's left feels sad. So the incense makes it feel good. It gives it like a good feeling. Okay, it's gone, but don't worry. It's going to be okay. It's going to come back next week. It's like almost like a little going away party for the neshama that's left. Okay, listen, I'll be back next week. But what about the fingernails? So Rav Kuli in Midrash Me'am Lo'ez says, remember that when you leave the Kedusha, there's a lot of danger. Why? We learn from Adam Arishon. Adam Arishon was such a beautiful being that his skin was shining like a diamond. It was so beautiful and so big that the Malachim, the angels, thought he was God in human form. That's why Hashem put him to sleep. The angels know, oh, he's not God. Why? Hashem doesn't go to sleep. But they thought he was God for a second. That's how beautiful he was. Huge and beautiful and shining like the sun. The only thing that Hashem left us that resembles part of His beauty is how our nails look like when they're really shining against the fire. So Avdalah is supposed to remind us, listen, you're supposed to, you're leaving the beauty, you're leaving the Kedusha right now. That's what your nails are for. But also remember what the nails also represent. It's a beauty that unfortunately was minimized. Why? Because Adam HaRishon sinned. So now you're leaving the holy but don't stop being holy. Don't, don't go and stop being holy. You have to be holy the rest of the week. And start already preparing for Shabbat, already on Mutzah Shabbat. 
So that's why we have the fire, but even more so why we act the way we do as far as looking at our nails against the fire. <music>